If you prefer typing your messages out on an actual keyboard over the virtual one on most phones and tablets, a bunch of messaging apps have desktop counterparts that can start alongside your computer. Here's how to do that for WhatsApp. First, you'll need to download WhatsApp's desktop app, linked in the description below. Clicking on Get will open the Microsoft Store app on your desktop. Click on Get on this window, then click on Install at the top. Once you've got WhatsApp loaded in, right-click on your Start menu, select Settings, then click on Apps. Once the menu loads in, click on Startup on the menu on the left. From here, you'll see a list of apps that start up alongside your system. Scroll down and find WhatsApp on the list, and toggle it on if it isn't already. If you don't see WhatsApp on the list, you may need to add it to your Startup Applications folder manually. Locate your WhatsApp shortcut on your Start menu. Right-click it, then mouse over More, and select Open File Location. Once it's open, hold down your Windows key, then tap R. On the window that pops up, type in shell colon startup. Then click OK to open your startup folder. After it loads, copy the WhatsApp program, then paste it into your startup folder. That being said, WhatsApp will then pop up on the list of startup apps. If you liked this guide, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for all sorts of videos covering WhatsApp and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.